Welcome back. So in my last video, I covered binary and uh, I didn't cover a lot of it. I just covered what is binary. And today I'd like to cover hexadecimal. Typically when I'm working with binary numbers, 99% of the time, instead of me looking at, so that for instance, if I'm dumping um, memory from RAM or something and I need to look for uh, bits that are changing. If I'm trying to look at ones and zeros, I may miss something. But if I look at it in hex, I can see what I'm supposed to have. So let's say I choose a range of addresses and I write th that range of addresses of, in fives and then I turn around and I dump it. I'm going to see, instead of seeing the binary aspect of fives, I'm going to see the letter or the number five. And then if it's not a five, it'll be some other number. And since it's a some other number, I can determine which bit value is not toggling or is stuck. So that's a, a little tip that I used to use when I was troubleshooting RAM or ROM locations. So hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is a base 16 numbering system. When I say base 16, this may get confusing if you're not familiar with it. So the confusing part is the fact that there's numbers and letters. So like in decimal, so in decimal, what we do is it's one to 10, right? Or you may look at it as it's zero to nine. But we're, let's, let's look at it from, zero to nine because zero is actually a value in, in computers. So with hexadecimal at a base 16, it goes zero to nine, but it changes at 10. So here we continue on, we add, we go to 11. So, you know, you have, you have your 10, then you go to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, you know, so on and so, so forth as we count up. Well, in hexadecimal, what we do is we go 0 to 9, and then 10 is A, whoops, A, that's equal to 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. Which I'm not going to continue on. Basically what I was doing is you have your ones position and then it's 16, and then you multiply this by 16. This by 16 gives you four, so 256 times 16 is 496, and this times 16 is 65, 536. So what you see here is 16 to the X. The reason why I wanted to drop in here and, and show this is because where one is on the scale up there is 16 to the zero power. The next one over is 16, which is 16 to the first power. 256 is 16 to the second power. The next one over is 16 to the third. The next one over after that is 16 to the fourth. So I just want to kind of clarify that up to F. So we can go from zero to F here. And then as soon as we hit F, we have to go back to zero, but we have to carry. So one zero is 16. But if we had, no, nah, let me erase that, sorry. I want to do something a little more complicated. Uh, we'll say 5D. We're just gonna leave this other ones out of here. I'm not, I just wanted to show how these went out. So let's convert this value right here to decimal. So we have, five sixteens. So we have to multiply 16 by five. That gives us 80.
and then we have D, and we go back to D, D is 13. So we have to add 13. So uh, we'll go D equals 13. So let's go with add 13 here. And now we have 93. So 5D is 93. So if you pull out your, your wonderful calculator, <clears throat> and Windows has a nice little feature there, you can go into uh, programming mode. So if you have a handy dandy little calculator that is capable of doing that, you can actually type that value in um, and convert it back to decimal and you will see that the actual value is 93. But I should have proven it by this, by taking five times 16 and then adding the total value of the ones position, which is 13. So that 5D equates to 93. So 5D, let's let's go a little bit further. Let's let's take this to binary. So what does 5D look like in binary? Well, we go back to binary knowing that we have one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. 128. So I'm going to do a little cheat here. I'm going to draw a line right here. I have four bits here and I have four bits here. So I'm going to draw, write five and D here. Now this is our binary representation, right? The, the numbers for that. So I know that if I go back to binary, and if you haven't watched this, please go back and watch the last video on binary. I did write out all the digits right here. I'm only going to cover these, well, A through F, and then what five is. So A is equal to one zero one zero B equals one zero one one C equals one one zero zero D equals one one zero one E is equal to one 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 zero and F is equal to one 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 and then five is actually the inverse of A. It's zero, one, zero, one. So if we know those values there, we can go up here and we can say there's zero, one, twenty-eight, so there's one, sixty-four, there is no thirty-two, so there's a sixteen. And then we go to D, D we have one, eight, one, four, zero, twos, and one, one. That is your binary representation of 5D. So we have one zero one, one one zero one. So that's a real brief uh, covering of hexadecimal, and uh, I'm not going to get into the math. Maybe I'll do that later, where we start dealing with um, we're adding hex numbers together or binary numbers together. We'll see. Uh, Again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, if there's a video or something that you don't understand uh, outside of this and you want me to cover it, leave that in the comments as well. I do read the comments. Uh, also, um, I'm thinking about doing some stuff, some early beginner, like your, your beginning of your um, understanding electronics. I may cover that. I may go over resistor color codes, although I will say this much, there's been a lot of changes, so I'm going to cover the basics. There is a lot further um, stuff in resistor color codes that uh, over the years I haven't had to use them as much, but I know that they're out there and I do see them more now than I did in the past, so I'll cover those maybe. But um, if, you're, if you're interested in, in learning resistor color codes or uh, um, the symbols for schematics, 
and whatnot. Uh, leave that in the comments. Uh, so from that, well, I guess that's going to cover the end of this video. But uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, thumbs down, fine too. Please uh, leave a comment or any questions you have. Like I said before, I'd leave those in the comments below. Um, and if you're liking this series, please subscribe and see what's going to come up next because um, I've got a few plans more for these. Uh, again, I'm looking for figuring out what I want to do next. Uh, maybe I'll, I might actually, I may actually do something with a, a breadboard and where I count through all the, uh, the binary using an LED. Um, fortunately, I don't think I have any LED displays where I could show uh, hexadecimal digits. That's getting a little more complicated into stuff, so maybe down the road I'll cover that. Uh, so anyway, I will see you in the next video, and all right, later.